Hey everyone, Val here. I am starting out my morning with some walking. I did get my shower this morning. Went and got breakfast. I had half of a sugar-free uh, pumpkin roll thing that I made, uh, like bread, and uh, put a little yogurt on it. I'm trying to do some of the things a nutritionalist taught me to do. She said to make sure I have a little protein with each meal and uh, and not snack after dinner. So, so far this week, every day I have not had a snack after dinner. Once you leave the dinner table, your eating for the night is done. So I have had cravings. I will admit I've had cravings, but I've kind of talked my way through them and I have not snacked. So I am proud of myself for not doing that for the last three nights. I can honestly say, I have not snacked after dinner. And I've, it's, it's hard for me, it really is hard for me. I have tried, you know, I've tried to fight these cravings and, and uh, so far succeeding. So maybe she said consistency and persistence. So if I keep doing that and form the habit, my body, my mind hopefully will say, she's not gonna get up and get a snack, so Let's just stop with the cravings, and you're not going to crave it after a while. That's what I'm hoping. So I'm not sure if that craving ever goes away, but uh, I am uh, so far for three days successful. I haven't really dived into the diet part yet because I haven't got the uh, suggested menu sheet. She said you don't have to follow it, but there are some suggestions on there. It lists going to list all the proteins for me. It's going to list, you know, kind of choices you shouldn't make, I guess, and uh, kind of give me some options. So I'm looking forward to getting that. She said it should take about a week, and it's been uh, a couple, three days, about three days since I talked to her. So I'm looking forward to getting that so I can really put a plan together. Uh, the weight I gained over the weekend, those four pounds from going out of town and not eating correctly, um, I've dropped them off already. Uh, my scale is saying they're gone. So I knew it was just temporary weight. I wasn't stressed over it. You know, I wanted ice cream. I got ice cream. So uh, I'm not stressed over that. So I'm on my treadmill. I'm going to walk, and then I'm going to run to Tractor Supply to pick up some bird food and because it's gotten really cold out, and I want to make sure my bird feeders are filled for the birds. And then I want to run to Food Lion and pick up some groceries. My son did text me last night. He does want to come over tomorrow. So uh, hopefully we can hang out a little bit tomorrow. Uh, I think I've got everything pretty much done for the craft fair. And I'm just going to be working on a few things that I can add to it. But I have everything marked and I'm not going to be stressing over. I've got to get everything marked and everything ready. I think I'm just about there. So I'll show you what I'm working on today and uh, I'll show you my haul when I get back from Food Lion. So I'll catch you in a little bit. I'm going <clears> to <throat> try to get a mile or so in today before I have to head out to the grocery store and uh, track the supply. Okay, I have a mile and a half walked in 38 and a half minutes. So that's going to be it for today. I'm going to go ahead and go grocery shopping and go up to get my bird seed and uh, I'll be back shortly. I am back from Food Lion. I also went over to the tractor supply here in our town and I picked up a new bird feeder because the one I have it won't stay shut so it gets wet inside so I'm going to take that one down. I'll probably do that when my son comes tomorrow. I'll have him help me <clears throat> get the feeders down and get them filled and then uh, get the rest of the stuff, the food that's left over stored. The bird food in the feeder is still in the car. I brought in my food lion haul and I'll show you what I got and then so I can get it put away. Starting out I got a 2% milk and then I got some penne pasta. These were The pasta was marked down to 99 cents for Food Lion. They had the Chiboni Zero Sugar, so I got one of those. The Greek Yogurt Vanilla. I got Pumpkin Puree. I'm going to do a 
pumpkin cheesecake, I mean a pumpkin pie for Thanksgiving. And we're doing our Thanksgiving early in a couple of weeks. So uh, this only had the 5 grams of sugar in it. So this was the lower uh, sugar pumpkin. I got two tomato paste. I got two evaporated milk. Depends what recipe I use. It's either going to call for evaporated milk or uh, sweetened condensed milk. So I got two of sweetened condensed milk that were the fat free. And I got two of the regular. I got the regular because I'm making fudge for the Belmont Women's Club for the sale next weekend. They're going to do a, a little bake sale along with the craft fair. So I'm going to make them a batch of peanut butter fudge and a batch of chocolate fudge. So I'm just going to use the regular sweetened condensed milk. I'm not going to use the fat free for that. I also got some Food Lion cooking spray, two baking potatoes. I got the crust for a chocolate pie that I'm going to make for our Thanksgiving dinner for Steve and the kids. Steve said he wanted pumpkin. I'll probably do pumpkin, chocolate, and I'm not sure if I'm going to do cookies or something else with that. But we'll see. I think I'm going to just maybe stick with the pumpkin and the chocolate. I got some uh, zero sugar uh, vanilla swirl. Vanilla chocolate swirl pudding. That's a good snack for 60 calories. The this no sugar, no fats in that. So I got 100 calorie packs of whole almonds. This was one of the suggestions from my nutritionalist. I got the uh, light uh, raspberry vinaigrette and the light ranch dressing, and I got. An Olive Garden Italian Signature. I'm going to be bringing that to my mother-in-law's house. I'm going to do the Ital Italian pasta salad for their Thanksgiving dinner up there with the family. There's a lot of family. So they're all going to come together. And uh, everybody's bringing a dish. So I'm going to bring the Italian pasta salad. Uh, stuff to make that and make that up at her house. I have some light sour cream. I have some roasted and salted... Uh, sunflower seeds which I've already opened and snacked on a couple of those. I had some twisted string cheese and this is part skim milk. Low moisture, low skim or part skim mozzarella cheese with added cheddar cheese. Got blueberries for my yogurt, got grapes for my yogurt. The chicken breasts were on sale, skinless Boneless chicken breasts were marked down to $1.99 a pound from $2.79 a pound. So I got two packs of the chicken breasts. I'm going to split them into two. So I'll have four dinners from that. Have some apples, banana. Oh, I had a Yasso bar, chocolate chip cookie dough. I got two pan, three pans here. It's uh, one set of pans. I need for to make a cake because I'm going to make a cake for our church uh, chicken dinner which is this weekend so I, I'm going to make a dessert to take to them for that. I got two, these were on sale, two for four so I got uh, one of two of the gallon freezer bags, 30 bags and then I got two of the quart freezer bags, 40 bags each. I needed the I needed the quarts, but the gallons were on sale too, so I went ahead and picked them up because I'm eventually going to need them. And then I had had two of the Food Lion bath tissue. So that's my haul. How do you think I did? All right, let's see. Frozen foods, groceries. Meat, produce, I really didn't get any meat but the chicken because that was on sale. Here's my savings and my total was $126.43 which actually $126. I don't think that's terrible bad. I don't know. Well, I mean, I don't know. It's just little stuff but 
baking stuff is always like chocolate chips and stuff are always high. Really, the rest of the stuff was a couple dollars each. It's chicken. Anyway, it adds up. You know it. So that's my haul. Let me put it away. Lunch today is going to be one serving of oatmeal. I put two, like, teaspoons, you know, leap, yeah, two teaspoons of the Greek yogurt in it and a banana and a little bit of pumpkin spice. So this is my lunch for today. I'm going back into the craft room and my lunch back there. And I'm going to call up my mom and my sisters on the portal so we can hang out this afternoon and do crafts. These two mannequin heads are going to be part of my display for my craft fair. So they're styrofoam, they're really light, and I don't want them to fall over on the table. So I asked Steve if he would get me a couple pieces of wood, which he's gotten me there so I can um, glue them onto the wood. I'm going to paint the wood today, so I'm probably going to just paint it white so it matches the, the heads. And then I'm going to use this to display a couple of hats at the craft show. Uh, kind of give my table a little presentation look, not just stuff thrown on it, but maybe a little presentation. So I'll, uh, I'll show you when they're done. All right, I have the two styrofoam heads, the boards painted. I glued them on. We're going to see if it's going to stick or not. Uh, and then I finished six gold um, stockings who have a yellow liner in those. So that's what I've gotten done today. Dinner is going to be leftovers. We have leftover pasta, leftover chicken stuff in there. So I don't have to cook. We're just going to eat leftovers and relax the rest of the evening. So thank you all for watching. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed and you want to. And I will catch you all on tomorrow's vlog. Y'all have an awesome day. Bye now.